Phoenix, Arizona. One of the most popular regions to move, five of America's fastest growing cities form a ring around the desert oasis. No surprise to this lifelong Arizonan. Sunshine's great, um, and being able to be outside so much of the year um, is, is great. Grady Gamas Jr. is an attorney specializing in water rights and real estate, and a senior fellow at ASU's Kyle Center for Water Policy at Morrison Institute. So he's well aware that the region only gets about nine inches of rainfall a year, which means much of the water is funneled in from hundreds of miles away. So I asked him, if water is so scarce, why do we keep building here? That question kind of drives me crazy because it seems to presuppose that there's somebody who decides uh, and there isn't any person who decides. Um, you know, why do we keep building where there are hurricanes? Why do we keep building where on a coast there's erosion? Why do we keep building where there are earthquakes? We keep building where people want to live. All of the 15 fastest growing cities in America are in regions which face natural disasters amplified by climate change, either ongoing drought and the risk of wildfires or hurricanes and sea level rise. I mean, just look at Miami where the skyline is sprinkled with construction cranes. Everywhere people decide to live has, has geographic challenges. And as climate change is increasing, those challenges are becoming greater. Um, our challenges are gonna be hot and dry. Well, we know how to do hot and dry. It's gonna be hotter, it's gonna be drier, but it's not powers of magnitude difference. It's not sea level rise in the Verrazano Narrows or in New Orleans. It's not an increasing incidence of tornadoes and hurricanes. Um, it, it's, it, it, is, it is a manageable challenge, not an easy one, but a manageable one. In a way, a lot of other places' challenges are much less manageable. But Grady cautions that just because problems may be manageable, it doesn't mean the solutions are cheap. You know, water supply and water availability is more manageable than earthquakes or hurricanes. You can get more water. It's just very expensive. It'll either be desalted seawater or water being moved out of another river basin. Um, but if we just get more efficient and if we retire more agriculture, we can keep going quite a lot longer.